convicted by emotion, which is definitely illogical. Strong emotion is just built on in the moment. My feelings in the moment. Right? I think I fell in love with that stripper three years ago because, God, she looked cute and she winked at me. That's that pure in the moment thing. What's going on, man? It is another great day to begin to compete against self. Me against me. I think too often we get caught up in comparing ourselves to the guy down the street, struggling with the ideas that society would impose upon us. And we lose the benefit of self-reflection. What can I do to become a better person? Mentally, physically, spiritually, me against me. This is the Better Man channel where our aim is to remove ourselves from the confines of an emotional ridden prison. Those emotions and opinions that that remove us from the path of becoming a better man. We tear down the walls of the prison that is known as emotions and the illogical fallacies that associate those. Emotions, no matter how good they may feel or how bad they may make us feel, all have a level of error in them. We live... In a society, a culture that is embedded with illogical thinking, irrational thinking. And it doesn't take a genius to, to look around and say, ah, yeah, we have a lot of idiots out there. But first and foremost, on the path of becoming a better man is responsibility, ownership. And we've all been there. God, I know I have. I'm one of those idiots. I've been the biggest idiot. I've had this irrational thinking and patterns of of thinking that have dissuaded me from living my true life, competing against me. I've been in competition against emotions. I've been in competition against the BS for too long. And so we recognize that if we're flawed, then God, no telling how flawed the rest of the world is. And so our opinions, our beliefs, our ideologies, even the ones that we hold dear and near to our heart, are in some fashion flawed. Because man came up with that idea. He came up with that philosophy. He came up with that ideology that we prescribe to. But there has to be some level of, of error in it because man himself came up with it. And so all beliefs have some form of irrational, logic, emotional thinking in them. And I've heard it once that any man of, of strict conviction is a dangerous man. He's not willing to change. He doesn't see any error in his pattern of thinking. Therefore, he can never progress. And the rest of the world that goes to self or goes to work against self gets better, learns more, adapts more. And they pass that man's belief that's not willing to change with the winds of time. In order to be a better man, we have to see the errors in not only the rest of the world, but our thinking. Are we connected to this belief by emotion? Are our opinions holding us back? And I believe the, the Bible depicts this in, in a very, very eye-opening sense with uh, the Garden of Eden, the fall of man. They're not supposed to eat from the tree of knowledge. They do, and it says that their eyes are open. Think about it. What happens when you learn something new? When you gain new knowledge, you form an opinion. You learn something about someone, you, you learn something about a new subject, you have an opinion. But no matter how close we get to a person or how much knowledge we receive, there's always going to be more to learn. There's different sides, there's different angles to each story. And in forming our judgments, we're, we're only creating a summary, an estimate. We never come to the, to the exact full knowledge of anything. There's always something more to learn. We should know that by looking at ourselves. God, each and every day, there's something new that I can learn about myself. Something new that I can learn. Maybe I've been thinking in an erroneous pattern. Maybe my logic has been uh, blemished by, by emotion. There's always something new to learn and opinions become distortions. Because I give you my opinion and you take a little bit of that and then you share a little bit of that truth with someone else they pass it to someone else 
And these opinions get passed around and distorted from generation to generation. So the first step in becoming a better man is to begin to look at our thinking. Am I convicted by emotion, which is definitely illogical? Strong emotion is just built on in the moment. My feelings in the moment. Right? I think I fell in love with that stripper three years ago because, God, she looked cute and she winked at me. That's that pure in-the-moment thinking. Irrational logic. It makes sense in the moment, but in the long run, God, that's ignorance. And again, we're in a culture embedded with this. Every man's belief, every man's opinion is smeared a little bit, at the very least, with, with emotion and with illogical thinking. In order to become a better man, we have to take a step back. We realize that we're competing against generations of irrational thinking, irrational behavior, and it's been passed down to us. And maybe with with good intention, and, and they had our interest at the very heart of who they were, they weren't trying to mislead us or, or um, take us down the wrong path. But again, they're merely men sharing merely opinions. And many times those get based on emotion. Just because something feels good and it has some truth in it doesn't make it good for us. I used to be a drunk, drunkest of the drunks, and it felt good to drink. Other people liked me for a moment when I was drinking. But that doesn't mean that it was good for me. That's based on my feeling, my emotion in the moment. And on the other hand, getting up early and going to work out. It doesn't feel good. It's a little painful. It takes time away from other things you could be doing. You're sweating. You're getting sore. It's discomforting. But that doesn't make it bad. We could get involved with the emotions in that. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to go. Oh, poor pitiful me. And those emotions restrain us from achieving the reward of a better body, better mind, believing in ourselves. When we base our opinions on emotions, they can mislead us just as, as a straight out lie. Just because something's good doesn't make it true. Just because something feels bad doesn't make it wrong. We're embedded in a culture of emotions, of illogical thinking. And that's been passed down from generation to generation to where we presently are. Where everybody wants to grab a hold of this feel good emotion. Because it feels good. It feels good to scream ignorance at someone. It feels good to let off the steam, voice your opinion, argue with someone. But I think Jesus said it best when he said, die to self. Buddha said, empty yourself. In order to be a better man and to rise the ranks in society and get away from the herd and their illogical thinking, we have to step back and think maybe my patterns of thinking have misled me. Maybe my pattern of thinkings are based on emotions. Maybe there's some errors in my beliefs that I'm not confronting. And that's where it comes into play. It's me against me. I'm my worst enemy. I'm my biggest ally. Me against me. I don't compare myself to anyone else. I don't compare myself to anyone else's beliefs. What beliefs are holding me back? What beliefs can move me forward? How can I become a better man? Therefore, maybe contributing to to the success of the community around me, the friends around me, the people around me. I read this the other day that the, the collective is made up of individuals. And if each individual would confront himself, become better, reclaim sovereignty over his own life, take responsibility, it influences the collective. So maybe, just maybe, we can see a shift in, in society and culture and the ignorance that is out there by confronting our own illogical thinking, our own prison of emotions. I love you guys. You'll hear me next episode.